it's DJ Case UK and in this video I'm going to be counting down my top three VST instruments of all time and I'll do other videos for effects and add-ons that you can get for different doors but in this video I specifically want to cover VST instruments. So my number one choice for best VST instruments of all time would have to be Massive by Native Instruments. This plugin has three oscillators, 95 wavetables to choose from, pitch adjustable controls. It can then be routed into two filters which has all of your common settings such as low pass, band pass and high pass but also gives you a few extra ones like the scream, the daft, the comb and acid and it has two effects units as well which has everything that you would expect to find such as reverb, flanger, chorus, phaser, delay and tube effects as well. You also have an EQ so that you can add more low or high frequencies. You also have a modulation unit where you can create movement within the sound. You also have a noise section for adding distortions and extra enhancements to your sound. You've also got a feedback which is another type of distortion. Those two work together and so you can control your amount of distortion and feedback or of noise effects that you've added onto it. You've got two inserts which again give you more effects such as high pass, low pass, shaping tools and bit crusher. Best way to describe that is, a, is another type of distortion. You have two of these so you can layer up your effects. You have eight macro controls which allows you to put movement on your sound so you have different types of macro controls which you can then modulate with these controls down here and at the back here you can then control your macros so you can set your macros to modulate 127 things it's got four envelopes which you can use for shaping your sound you've got two lfos which you can use to modulate the sound and then you've got these two parts here for creating arps and sequences uh, that have movement in them so you can modulate the way the sound moves using these step sequences. Also got additional controls for the oscillators so how the oscillators actually work got full control over how the three oscillators work. You can also change the keys which are used on the keyboard to control the synth so you could have it so that it works as you would expect a keyboard to work or you could just set it so that any note you press it just makes one sound. I don't really know why you'd want to do that but the option is is there as well and you've got voicing which is so that you can layer sounds and add more layers to them you can have up to 64 voices of those so that they have harmonic textures you can also do routing so that you can decide which order things are affected by so you can split whether it goes to filter one filter two and you can then use this routing section to make extra adjustments as well so being able to do routings quite important as well and then you've got your global control for making final tweaks so you can actually control how all of these different controls work within the synth the best thing about the way that massive works is being able to just drag on these different tools onto any part of massive you want any section of massive so create this my number one synth it's just got everything you need all in one and it's very quick and easy to move it all around it also has 1300 presets to help you learn everything that it can do. Out of all of the synths I've ever tried, Massive has the most amount of presets to help you learn what the synth is capable of. My second choice would be Serum by Z for Records. It has two oscillators. It has the most amount of wavetables available. It also allows you to add your own custom wavetables as well. And although it only has two oscillators, it does have a button where you can add sub bass very easily. So if you're making a sound, you can just kind of click a button and it will add a sub bass on. So this has been very popular in drum and bass kind of music because it just means you can make any sound and click the button and it's got a, a sub bass underneath it. I personally like to make that separately, but you know, if you're looking for something quick, then Serum is very good for that. There is three envelopes with Serum. 
you've got four LFOs. The other good thing about Serum is the routing. You can select any part of Serum and then route it with any other part of Serum. So it's fully modular. It is completely customizable. Just route anything to anything. There's no restrictions whatsoever. It's got much better routing capabilities for rewiring the synth in different ways. You have your effects as well. Hyper dimension, distortion, flanger, phaser, chorus, delay, compressor, reverb, EQ and filter. And then you do also have 90 filter presets as well. You can have up to 32 voices with Serum. And the thing that really stands out with Serum is that when you make a sound, you can actually visualize the sound and actually see it moving however there's also plugins which will do this for any other plugin that you have and i think that's that's re really handy being able to see the shape of the sound so that is why it is my second choice because although it doesn't have as many tools and features as massive it does allow me to see the shape of the sound have custom routing and custom wave tables and my third plugin of all time would have to be vanguard it has got three oscillators it has 28 wavetables to choose from, certainly a lot for the time that it came out, as most simps were just using sine, triangle, wave and saw, which are then wired through three LFOs, a filter, and it has two envelopes as well, with transgate, delay and reverb all included. It also has ARP tools for being able to create modulation in sounds and textures, ARPs and sequences, and it also has glide and pitch tools as well for being able to shape your sound and you can have up to 32 voices with vanguard it comes with lots and lots of presets to help you learn how to use the synth and before massive came out this was really the main synth which i used to make everything it does the job very well it has enough tools on there that you can make pretty much any sound you want for electronic music and I think because of its ease of use, it's just so easy to see the layout and what's going on. It's my third favourite plugin of all time. And I think if Massive hadn't came out, I would probably be still using it a lot more to this day. When you compare the prices of these three synths, Vanguard comes in at the cheapest with €70. Euros. Then in second would be Massive, which is £129. However, they often have sales where you can get it for £64.50. And the most expensive is Serum, which is priced at $189. So that's it on this video. I hope you've enjoyed the content. If you've made it this far, give the video a like. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with any suggestions you want to see on another video. Join my Discord server for chats about all of the videos I've posted and content which I have for subscribers, such as sample packs and VST plugins, which I have made available to download also consider becoming a patreon where i also give away sample packs and music which i've made for anyone supporting my channel or you can go on my bandcamp which is djkcuk.bandcamp.com where i offer sample packs and mixing and mastering services that's it for this video thanks for watching see you on the next video